in this discussion you can see boolean field data type in print in case you missed previous video related character data type field please check link in video description so right now we have let's we will create one boolean field for that one we have to use create one field Fails. Dot. Here we have to keep boolean. Then after as a string, as a label name. like this so instead of care we have to use a boolean by default value is false first we have to restart the service because we already added one colon in python file and one more thing is we need to add in form view also so go to form view here we have to give field name after go to browser find that module and upgrade Going to scroll here you can see virtual class supporter by default it's a false value and once you will tick here it means it's a true in database side also created one uh, colon name as is virtual class so we will see psql minus d first tab select start from school underscore profile and here you can see and here you can see this record set as a true going to PyCharm again now first we will see all possible attributes in boolean class so first of all you see string as a label name then after have as a tooltip this is Refresh the page. Going to browser. Refresh the page. And when you over this tooltip, then go to PyCharm. One more thing is read only also it will support. Whenever you are uh, doing any backend uh, uh, backend changes and the user don't allow to edit that field at that time you can use this read only equal to true restart the service go to browser and whenever i will try to play it's a read only so whenever you create here the time also it is read only one more command is default command by default like while creating any new record that time you can also add default true restart the service go to browser and refresh the page when i will try to create new record here you can see by default it's a true 
Well, we changed in Python side. Now we will move to XML side and add some same attributes inside the field. And first, we will remove from Python side so you will have a better idea. Going to here. First of all, we will rename. So right now we are overriding this label from XML app. This is one by fail. But uh, here you don't need to restart the service. But you have to go to apps, find that module, and upgrade that module. We will duplicate this module. You can see here the field table is changed. You can also add here invisible equal to one. By default, invisible is false, so false means zero and uh, true means one. So here you have to remember this only simple things. So going to browser school upgrade the module. Refresh the page. Here you can see it's hide. So for hide you can use invisible. Uh, one more command is read only. Restart home. Read only one. Go to Python. Go to apps, find that module, upgrade the module, and refresh the page. Here you can see this is read only. One more interesting thing is let's say. I will add here read only true and here I will remove restart the service because we change in Python app. and one more time we have to upgrade because we change the view part. Trying to upgrade this module. refresh the page the result will be same here you can see but sometimes what happen in future you have some requirements like from python and it's a read only but in certain conditions you have to make it as a editable so that time you can override also from xml side here you have to give a read only equal to zero go to apps school upgrade the module refresh the page see here you can edit so that's it for now you can do practice in case you have any doubt please comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in next video